Hello, fellow traders. Nutty Bar Trading coming to you on a Thursday. It is June the 22nd, and this is day number 37, I think, of trading my funded accounts. Um, obviously, um, if you've been subscribed, you might have been wondering where I was at the last week. Um, I was on vacation, so... Um, hopefully you saw my community posts. I tried to let everybody know that I was on vacation, but in case you were wondering where I disappeared to, that is where I was. I was on vacation. We, uh, as a family went to Pigeon Forge in Tennessee, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, which was really beautiful country and we had a great time. Um, but if you're new here, this channel I created to journal and document my trading, my trading journey. Um, basically trying to get to pay out with these 18 funded accounts and it's been a challenge. It has been an uphill challenge. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll go through basically the, um, it is very important to me that I am fully transparent with you guys. I, uh, show my profit and loss at the end of every day. And I trade live every day as well. You can see my profit and loss and uh, basically see how my day is going. Um, but I do have an update. Uh, I have to give you guys first and foremost before we get into what happened today. Just, yeah, we, we had a good day today. Um, I, I'm tying. I'm basically right now I'm trading the three accounts that have the lowest balance and kind of trying to bring those back to life. And then, you know, after 500-ish profit um, on the day for those three accounts, then I switched to the next three accounts with the lowest balance. Um, and that's what we did today. And we, we had a good day. As you can see here, $543 on the first three accounts I traded. And then the next three accounts, we were at $480 in profit. Um, and then the next three... Uh, we ended the day with a little bit of a loss, a little bit over a hundred dollar loss per account. So we'll be trading these three accounts again tomorrow, uh, starting tomorrow. Obviously, uh, we were in a little bit of profit on these, and I gave it back today. It's kind of frustrating right now because on this pullback here, I was looking for it to test these highs again, and you can see kind of my I kept trying and trying and trying and failing, and I gave back quite a bit of profit. Um, in doing so, and of course now, once I kind of gave up and decided, hey, I'm going to end stream, um, of course now we are getting the move that I wanted and that I was looking for, but hey, it is what it is. But before we go any further, I do have to give an update. Um, yeah, it was, I had a very disturbing yesterday, um, so let me just, I'm just going to open my Tradezilla. This is what I use to track my trades. Um, but basically this day, yesterday we were traveling home. I did something very stupid. I want to make that abundantly clear. Number one, um, I did something very stupid yesterday morning. Um, somehow I had the genius idea uh, that yesterday morning, um, as we were kind of packing and getting ready to do, travel home. We had an eight hour trip home. I had this uh, genius idea that I'm just going to enter two micros really quickly. Basically my original goal was I'm just going to enter, you know, on a micro, two micros, and I'm just going to get in. And then before we leave, get out just so we have, I have a trading day. Obviously I was, you know, where I entered um, I was hoping, you know, Hey, maybe I'll catch a five point move or something, but I wasn't looking for a huge move. I was looking for a little bit of a move and then I was going to get out and have it count as a trading day. That way all my accounts haven't, you know, been sitting dormant for too long, but really it didn't matter if those accounts would have sat dormant for another day, wouldn't have mattered. I should have never even entered the trade, but you can guess what happened I'm just going to show you, um, oh, give me a second here. 
scroll all the way out. Let's see this ugly thing for what it is. Okay. So I get, I enter around here. Um, and I enter, of course, I enter long. Um, I mean, I was looking at a pullback, basically this support level I was looking at. And hey, I was looking for a move. And the second mistake I made was this was on my laptop computer and I did not have any ATM strategy selected at the moment. I thought I actually saw it after I entered and I was I basically thought to myself ah, what it's not a big deal. I'm not going to be in this trade long. That way it can move and uh, I'll get out before we go on the road. Anyway, fast forward. We get all our packing done and everything's packed, put away, basically taking the final pictures and getting ready to leave and hit the road. And uh, when we when I go to close my accounts, we were in a sell-off. And that's when I made my third mistake. And that mistake was I panicked. Um, and to be, I mean, not, not, not to make excuses here, but I was at the time, we were kind of in this right here in this range. I forget exactly where it was, but I know we were at like, I was over a hundred dollars loss per account. And I thought to myself, oh man, I'm not going to, I just, I was not, I wasn't willing to, uh, why, what happened here? Hang on. I switched screens. I wasn't willing to take my loss. I wasn't willing to just take it like a man, admit that I messed up, and close the trade. I thought, ah, there's no way this is going to continue selling off. I'm just going to hang on to it. I'm going to check periodically as we're driving home, and I'll close all the accounts. Um, you know, surely I'll get, you know, well, at least I was basically, you know, I'll get to break even at some point. And of course, you guys know the rest of the story. On the journey home, first of all, didn't have service, couldn't even get out of the trade if I wanted to. Um, but fast forward a couple hours, and, <laughs> and this is just, it's almost comical. But all the way down to here, I, I, I saw the price action right here. Um, and then around 1130, which was right here, we stopped for some lunch. And I look at my account or I look at the market and it was in an absolute free fall. We had dropped over 200 points and I was ready to vomit, to be honest. Um, I was ready to vomit. I thought there's just no way this is happening. And I actually almost sold. I almost closed my accounts right here. Um, thankfully, I didn't actually because I... I thought, you know, this 15,000 level, maybe we get some kind of bounce. Maybe I can get a bounce where I can get out. Um, so I decided to hold. And thankfully, I did because we did get a bounce. Um, and then I was, thankfully, we were in a little bit better service area. And shout out to Trading by Travis or Trading with Travis. He actually, I was able to tune into his stream and kind of listening to his live stream i could tell that we were bouncing um i know that he caught some of this move up uh very nicely done but basically um i was able to get out up here so i feel pretty grateful for that in that retrospect of how bad it was and where i was able to get out i feel pretty lucky especially after it sold off i basically had to make a decision right here because we were heading into the West Virginia Hills and I knew I wouldn't have any service. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to close it. I know it's a big loss. It is what it is, but I live to see another day. That was kind of my mental capacity at the moment, but it was a, it, that's probably if you were in the live stream today, we did have a really good day, but I wasn't really feeling that great about it. And this is why um, I did explain this on my live stream as well. I went over this, what happened uh, briefly on the live stream as well this morning. If you were there, you already know what, about this, but 
Yeah, just, I mean, full transparency. I just needed to share this. Obviously, um, it was just a very a compounding um, dumb idea after dumb idea after dumb idea. And I finally made one good decision, and that was waiting and then getting out up here. I feel very thankful for that. Down here, we were close to $800 in drawdown per account. Um, which is, ugh, makes me shiver thinking about it. And, uh, anyway, I, thankfully we, we didn't and we got out up here, but it was still a big loss. It was still, as you can see, a $5,700 loss, but you can see at the, at one point here, we were at $15,000 a loss. So we basically recovered ten thousand dollars just by this by this move up um at one point here i was like you know i had some hope this was like you know this was at two o'clock when we finally got out but i thought hey maybe we maybe we get all the way back to break even and uh, i almost got greedy and let it ride and i'm very grateful very thankful that i didn't but anyway that is the update i'm very disappointed it's again just i don't know go ahead and leave your comments about how bad of a trader i am i know some of you really enjoy doing that i'm not gonna stop you go ahead um i'm i know that first and foremost that that was terrible um what can i say it is what it is and that's part of part of being fully transparent is that and i need to hold myself accountable and this is what it is and I, I was hoping that it would prevent me from doing some of these very just, I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, I know what I was thinking, but obviously just not a good idea. Did I get unlucky that I picked the one day that we have a 200 point sell off after doing nothing but a nice rally, you know, the previous two weeks? Yeah, probably, but. That's just how it goes, and it is what it is. But it, what was really just very torturing was there was nothing I could do about it after I was on the road. There was nothing. I couldn't reverse my position. I would have loved to <laughs> reverse my position, which, anyway, it is what it is. And I don't know. That's the update for that. Now, let's go to a little bit more in a little bit better news, and that would be for today. Um, as you can see here on my account balance, we had, I don't know, I briefly covered it, but basically we we had a good day. And obviously here at the end of the day, we just, I, I was trying to catch that move up, trying to catch if we test the highs again. And I kept taking, I, I got stopped out repeatedly. So that was a little bit unfortunate. I was up on these three accounts as well, about 100 and think $140 or so. Um, so that was unfortunate. Just I bad timing. You can't win them all, but, but yeah, we had a, we had a good day. I feel, feel good about the day. We're going to get, we're going to get, do it all over again tomorrow and, uh, try and stay on this grind. And, uh, sometimes it is tempting to give up. I will be honest. I will be very honest with you guys with that. Um, and it like constantly seeing this is so depressing. Um, and I know a lot of people, you know, I should change my strategy and blah, blah, blah. I, I'm really not interested in that. I'm really not. And I appreciate your, your, I guess, concern, but I'm just not interested in doing that at the moment. Um, but at times it feels, I just feel like sometimes, um, YOLOing it and we're either going to get out of this or we're going to blow these accounts and we can start over. But I know that is not what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do that, but I will be honest that sometimes it feels like this it's it's just a it's been a grind. It has been a grind. We're on day number 37 of trading these live accounts. 
And I feel like we've we've just been in the red. Like we've just been in the red all the time. And I'm just not making any progress. I feel like we take a step back or two steps back, one step forward. Um, but you know what? My motto is we're still alive and we're going to keep putting that one foot in front of the other. And we are going to keep at it. We're going to keep at it. And I still at times, yeah, my confidence definitely isn't at a level that I like it to be, obviously, for pretty obvious reasons. Um, but I just, I'm going to trust the process, trust my trading and, you know, it is what it is. We're, we're either going to grind through this and we're going to look back, you know, three months from now and this is going to be an epic, epic comeback journey or we're going to look back and we're going to learn. We're going to learn what we did wrong and I'm going to, you know, get better from it. We, regardless of the outcome, my goal is to be better. I've never claimed to be the best trader. I've never claimed to be a great trader like so many people on YouTube. My only claim is that I'm transparent, and you can't take that away. So regardless what trolls want to come and say how terrible of a trader I am, you know what, you might be right, but at least I'm transparent. That means a lot to me, so... Maybe it doesn't mean anything to anyone else, but that's okay as well. To me, it does, and it's also the other thing that really means a lot to me is that I am that I am learning from my mistakes. So we are trying to do that as well. Sometimes we uh, struggle with that, but anyway, kind of a longer update, obviously, for you know just coming back after going on vacation. But just wanted to give an update. Again, be transparent. Um, but anyway, we're going to be back again tomorrow trading live and hopefully have another good day. And hopefully, you know, maybe, 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 maybe this right here is the bottom, right? Maybe that's the bottom right here. And we'll look back in three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. And uh, we'll talk and reminisce about those days when we were down 25,000 across 18 accounts maybe maybe but either way i'm gonna continue to try and have fun i do appreciate everybody's support also i do want to make note here i kind of have some false advertising here and i apologize the 50 percent off on resets i believe that ended yesterday and i did not update this so apex yeah i don't think there's any sale going on right now except for the 50 percent off so obviously using the code, you can still get 50% off. I'm going to recommend that you wait. I'm going to recommend that you just be patient. And uh, I am confident that Apex will come out with a good sale um, here in the upcoming weeks, possibly. I don't know anything for sure, but we have July 4th coming up. If you can wait, please do so. Anyway, that's my uh, update for... We also didn't do an update last week for the week. We're just going to skip it. And then this coming Saturday, I'll probably going to do an update for the last two weeks. But anyway, that's all. That is all I wanted to cover for the day. Thank you again. Appreciate everyone. Take care.